Hello friends, how are you today? I want to implore you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, IGM TV. IGM simply stands for Impact Global Ministries. On this channel, you will watch godly content. You will be blessed, you will be transformed, you will be inspired, and you will be challenged. Please like, subscribe, share, put your comments. By so doing, you will be helping in evangelism. Tell a friend to tell a friend. God bless you. Jesus, I am anointed to be the last. Despite the orders on the way, I have a purpose I must fulfill. We shall not be big one. Hello, my friends. My name is Damilola Fasheson, and you're watching Take One. This is an exclusive interview segment that celebrates God's ambassadors, children of God, shining the light, making impact in their own sphere of influence, in their own little way. They range from drama ministers to pastors to gospel artists and to people you might never have even heard about. They will be here blessing you, sharing their stories, stories of their journey, life experiences, giving you godly counsel, showing you their challenges, their success, and how the Lord has helped them. They will be telling it all on this segment. Take one. Our guest is ready and waiting. Are you ready? Take one. My name is Wale Adeyi, to the glory of God. I was born in Nigeria, Lagos State, in 1972, January 2nd, on Sunday morning, all to the glory of God. I married to a woman of God, a child of God, Adebambo Adeyi, and we got married in 1999, December the 4th, 1999. We were blessed with four biological children and uh, many spiritual children. Our biological children, we have four, three men, we call them three wise men, and a precious jewel, a daughter of God. We thank God for the spiritual formation of my life and uh, of that of my wife also. So we have been together for many years. In the next one year now, we'll be celebrating our 20, 25th year anniversary, wedding anniversary to the glory of God. Um, my, my educational our background. Of course, I try in my little way. I went to elementary school. I went to high school. And I also went to the university. But I will start from the university level. My bachelor degree, I got my bachelor degree at the Obafemi Awolowo University in Ileife, Nigeria, in 1995. I studied medical rehabilitation, what we know as physical therapy. So from there, I proceeded. I went to the northern part of the country to do my youth call. And that was where I met my wife. Anyway, that is a story for another day. So when I got to the northern part of the country, I furthered my study. I did my first 
uh, master degree in uh, medical pharmacology. And uh, within two years, I relocated to the United States of America. I started another master degree in physical therapy. And uh, later I proceeded and I studied another master degree in public ed. So after that, I went further to get my PhD, uh, my doctorate degree in transformational leadership, all to the glory of God. So let me stop there. That is my, my educational background. I have featured in so many movies, so I don't know how to mention them. Uh, I've featured in more than 100 movies. Um, from Flaming Sword, Mozion, and uh, other ministry friends. Um, for instance, the the most popular now is the Abejoye. I feature in Abejoye. The one going on now, Rebel. I feature there. Uh, Homecoming. I was there. Uh, Leap of Faith. Leap of Faith. I was there also. In so many movies. Dangerous Influence, Critical Choice, Waiting Period, Edge of Glory, Edge of Protection, Crack in the Wall, Feeling the Crack, Waiting for the Prince, um, Win, Win Behind the Storm, Strange Fire, um, and so on, to the glory of God. So, I... I've been able to feature in so many movies, gospel movies, all to the glory of God. I've started acting since my elementary school, that is primary school, right from Nigeria. At the end of the year, we always act short play or short playlet. Um, as at that time, I was very young. I just have passion for drama, for movies. So I've been involved also in my church. Baptist, I was trained. My dad was a pastor, you know, Baptist. He was a Baptist leader. So in my local church then, uh, we used to act movies at the end. I mean, stage play at the end of the year around December period. And I also partake, I always partake in it. And um, uh, so I developed interest, but I never knew anything about gospel drama as at that time. All I had passion for was just to act, to act because I believe that I have a message to tell the whole world. Um, above all, I used to watch all this Nollywood, uh, Oyade Jobi, Aisho Pepe, and uh, you know, Abamiro, uh, who also happened to be, we are from the same village, Fiditi, from the same town there. So they always come to show movies in our, in our town, in our city there. That's Fiditi. So uh, watching them growing up, uh, at that age, I loved what they are doing. And I always pray that one day I will want to become like this, you know, innocently. I didn't know whether uh, there is something called gospel movie that I can channel my my gift to, to, to serve the Lord. All I just wanted to do then is to, to bring out what is in me. I mean, but thank God for spiritual formation spiritual formation, the people that you grew under, that, or that you grew up with, also can mend, they can affect your life. Um, we thank God for my parents and my brothers and sisters that shaped my life at that tender age. So the next question that um, you asked, that uh, when did the gospel movie start? Okay. The gospel movie started uh, when I gave my life to Christ, that was when the, my mentality of acting changed. That 
just like Apostle Paul. He was sore then, but when he changed, when he got converted, everything, all the zeal was still the same. But he channeled it towards the cause of the heaven. He channeled it towards eternal value. So the same thing, everything in me remained the same, but the focus at that time changed. My focus from secular uh, drama, something change to drama minister to god so i gave my life to christ in 1990 1990 i was still in school in um i was at the bafemi i will lower university then so the moment i gave my life to christ my passion for drama continues but the focus changed to the glory of god so i always watch and the only movie that i can watch or my wife and i used to watch them were Mozion movies. Anytime we watch Mozion movies, we pray and we bless their lives. We never knew that we meet them. We didn't know anybody. We, did, we didn't know daddy. We didn't know mommy, Bami Loye, uh, none of the Mozion members. But we love them. We've been praying for them before we even met them. So we, I met daddy physically uh, in the United States of America when I came to U.S., in year 2001, that was not when I met them. I, I came, I relocated with my family in year 2001, but I met daddy in year 2007. And that was where the, the old passion now ignited. The passion for drama ministry ignited. It's like, uh, oh, this is the man I've been waiting for. This is the day, this is the time I've been waiting for. And uh, daddy came and deposited the, the 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 fire of God in us that is still burning up to today. So I can really say that the 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 gospel, the drama gospel ministry in my life started far back in nineteen as far as ni uh, two thousand and two th I mean nineteen ninety when I gave my life to Christ. But the starting up started year two thousand and seven when I met Daddy Mike Bamiloy. Um, I always remember my role in Abeljoe. Uh, it was a challenging role for me. The truth is that the role I play was a direct opposite of who I am in real life. But um, that is what we are called to do. Apostle Paul said that um, to the Romans, I behave like them, to the Jew, I behave so that I may win some. And that is the uniqueness of drama ministry. Um, what you act does not mean that we, that, that is who you are. Uh, it, was a, it was a challenging role for me. I've been playing a negative role before that time, but the role I played there was very challenging, uh, coupled with the fact that I played the role of the husband to my mother in the Lord, Mommy Bamiloye, Gloria Bamiloye. Um, it was it was a challenging moment, and um, but thank God for their lives because they really helped me on set, uh, especially at the uh, the the scene where Bamidele slapped Lide. You know what I mean? That scene was we we it took us almost ten minutes before we could shoot that scene of, of less than two seconds. It took us more than 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, because most of the time I had my hand to slap my, that hand could not come down. And uh, that the mic said, well, I will, if you don't slap, I will slap you. <laughs> Even when I slapped, I did slap passionately. But uh, until I was able to slap passion, passionately, uh, all to the glory of God. And thank God for the Spirit of God in us, that dwell in us. Uh, we give God the glory. It was the most, the most challenging role in my life. Most challenging role. Number one, the role that, that, that I play. Number two, the mode of acting. Number three, the, the, the person I'm acting with. Number four, my disposition, my my character also with my wife on the other side. Um, we have to bring out the message. Even that was not who we are, but we still have to bring it out so that 
We that is why I said drama ministers, we are invading soldiers. We are invading into the kingdom of darkness to bring out the reality, the truth. Invading soldiers, and we have to break, we, are, we, we have to prepare for it. So we thank God. Um, I have a lot of lessons um, to share. Number one, we are, we are, you are first a child of God before you are drama ministers. Uh, God called us unto Himself to serve Him first um, uh, before we serve others. He called us unto Himself. That means a lot. He called us into the life of faithfulness. And I say this a lot. Anybody can serve. Even the Satan can serve. Nobody can serve like Satan. He can serve. But God is not going to reward our service. God is rewarding our faithfulness in service. It is not everyone that is faithful in what they are doing. So God is not coming to reward service. Is coming to reward faithfulness in service. Underline faithfulness in service. If not, Bible will not say on the last day. Many will come and say, oh, I have done this. I was a worker. I did this. But Jesus said, I know you not. You workers. He, ad he admitted that they are workers. You workers. He admitted that they are drama ministers. You workers. They admitted that they have acted gospel movies for him in his name. You workers of iniquities, depart from me. So the people that are not workers of iniquities are the people that serve in, faith, in faithfulness. So therefore, I want to encourage them, my minister. Don't impress yourself. Don't impress anyone. Don't even impress God. You can only impress if you serve faithfully. Faithfulness in service is the key. You cannot impress anyone. You cannot ever, I keep saying this one also, God can do everything. But whatever God has decided not to do, don't help him. Let him do what he alone can do. So it is a watchword for me that in this race, as a Dharma minister, there will be a lot of things that you, you cannot do yourself, except God build the house. Those that labor, only labor in vain. So Dharma ministers, be faithful in whatever you do. Be faithful. Don't run into assignment God did not call you into. Don't run into the cast God has not backed up. Don't write a script that has no eternal value. Be faithful. Be faithful in whatever you do. Thank you. Big one. Have I ever rejected any role? Um, I've never in flaming sword. Of course, I'm the one that always do the casting. I always do the casting. So, uh, of course, in most and uh, most of the script, God helped me to write it. So, even while writing it, I received the cast. There are some that I wrote that I did not even receive myself. That was not part of the people that acted it. Um, a lot of script like that that I wrote, but I was not part of this. So. I have never rejected any role in Flaming Sword, but in other ministry, yes. Not the role alone, even the assignment, even the invitation. And not only drama ministry, there are some ministries that have invited me also to come and preach in the world, which I rejected. Which I, I not me that rejected it, but I, there was no conviction. See, uh, I will not go to where God cannot reach me. And I mean, cannot, uh, cannot be blessed. Anywhere God is leading you to, he should be able to reach you there. So it's not about the zeal. It is about the wisdom of God. It is about the direction. Um, I won't go to where God is not leading me to because he will not be able to reach me there. I, it's by running away outside the, outside the covering. So, um, and um, if you know me better, I I know I, I don't have any any explanation to anyone because the more you try to explain, the more you try to defend yourself, and that is and the less God will fight for you. So as long as God said no, 
and if i don't have conviction to go i don't go likewise my wife too most of the invitations that she has received we i can say that we reject it for uh, more invitation than the one we accept so about the question role yes not only the roles even any invitation there are very few invitations that we accept it's not that god is not there not clear but is because God is um, even when I, if I go there, God that is there might not be there again. So I don't want to go to where God, where I'm not needed, where everyone does not need me. It's not every door that is open that is open by God. It's not every door that is open that you must enter as well. So I want you to know that one. So about that, this, the fact that I rejected it does not mean that God is not in that assignment. Yes. God is there, but I am not one of the people that God wants to use them. We are supposed to preach so that I might win some, not all. No singular movies is directed to everybody. Each movie has its own audience, has its own audience. So you must know, and each gospel, each message has its own ministers. So if I'm not part of the ministers that God wants to use, I cannot force myself, even when people invite me uh the wisdom of god is wiser uh the the let's say god is foolish the foolishness of god is wiser than the wisdom of men so we give god the glory um i i have never rejected any role in flaming sword other yes depending on the lady so i don't have any explanation to to give of course um nobody is self-made uh, we are all made by god and um we have our own time of weakness you know uh, a pastor on the pulpit the moment he mounts the pulpit the grace of god take over when you see some pastors at home you know that these people cannot kill a fly uh cannot kill a fly but by the time they mount the pulpit you are seeing something different. That is the power of God. The same thing with the drama minister. Most of the things that we act, I've said it earlier, are not who they have, are not who we have, but we have to act it because of the message and because of the power that is in us. Um, it's a veil. After acting, we remove the veil. So shyness will also come, always come, but the Spirit of God take away shyness. So pray. I want to advise drama ministers that are shy like me. Pray before you accept anything. And the moment you are behind the camera, it is not only you. It is not you alone. It is no longer you that live but Christ that lives in you. It is not you that act but Christ act in you. Your hands become an extension of God's hand. Your mouth becomes an extension of God. God speaks through you. Your head, your thinking, your the way you relate and direct also becomes the perfection of God, not you. Now, I've seen myself acted before. When I watched the movie, I realized that oh, this could not have been me. Even myself also. Look at myself, my wife, uh, playing the role of Dedu. That was, um, I mean, that was, contra I mean, if you know this woman. Uh, <laughs> but thank God, that is the grace of God. The moment she's behind the camera, she's something else. Likewise, myself. And that is what I want everyone to also pray about it. Pray about it. The spirit of God. Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. But sound spirit, sound mind. He has not given us the spirit of God. There is no fear in perfect love. Perfect love. The love of God casts away fear. And shyness will come. That is woman being in us. Big one. How can one support and be a part of the ministry? Pray for us. The first support of Dharma ministers is prayer. Pray for us. Pray for us. We need your prayer more than anything. Of course, we need your support financially, but the primary thing is pray for us. That what we are acting, we are not guilty of what we are acting. We are human beings, flesh and blood. Blood runs in our system. We see what you see. We feel what we feel. We, but we need your prayer. Pray for us that we will not be guilty of what we preach and that uh, we, the God will not become an abandoned project, abandoned vessels in the hand of God. And above all, 
what kills drama minister is pride. That pride will not enter into us. That uh, also the love of money, fame, fame that leads to pride. Um, I always say this one that um, drama minister should be very careful. And that is where you need to pray for us. So that people don't elevate us beyond our worth. So that um, the fact that God sent us, God gave us message to leaders. That does not equate us with the leaders. Uh, donkey spoke, but that does not change the status of the donkey. He was still a donkey. You can prophesy. That does not make you a prophet. So those are the areas where pride can come into that. Oh, this is me. Yeah, we are all human beings. At times, our heads swell over. Pray for us that we should come down. Come down. I tell myself every day, Wale, mm -mm, come down. Come down. Wale, Adi, come down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What drives me is passion for Christ. Passion, passion for Christ. If someone like me can give, if God can save someone like me, then I must give everything so that others can be saved also. Uh, passion for Christ, passion for eternity. What drives me is the call that I had. You are not there when God called you. So anyone that wants to take away the call, I crash. I crash and I destroy in the spirit of God. So that's the reason why you see a man of God focus. Because no, no, nobody was there when you are called. The call of God, the voice of God, the, the purpose of God for my life, and the power of God that is in me, the evidences that I see, the testimonies, the encouragement that I receive, those are the things that drive me daily. Those are the things that drive me daily. And uh, anything that comes on the way, I like I said, I crash. Not me, I crash that thing. No matter who you are, that want to derive me, deprive me from fulfilling my ministry, for fulfilling, I am a very gentle man, to the glory of God, I know, but when it comes to that, I have no respect for that. I have no respect for, 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 for destroyer, because they will not defend me on the last day. It is a foolish thing for someone to say, oh, my leader made me to fail. My spouse made me to fail. Nobody should be too big in your life to deprive you from entering heaven, from making it. You know? uh, as a drama minister, you have to develop yourself. God has given you the call. God has given you everything but um, like a profe uh, every professional, I'm a physical therapist by profession and um, every two, three years, we have what we call um, continuous education. I graduated as a physical therapist in 1996. Mind you, between 1996 and now, there have been a lot of upgrading, upgrading a lot of new things, new ideas, new mood, new engines, new equipment, which we were not trained with while we are in school. So that was the importance of, of continuous education. Our license here in the Western globe is not everlasting. We renew our license every two, two years. Every professionals, lawyers, doctors, teachers, every nurses, every professional, every we must do. If you fail to do continuous education, then you will not be able to continue to practice after two years. So what that one means is that continuous education will help us to upgrade ourselves to the next level, to the newest equipment, so that we will not become local champion. If the people in the world can do that, how much more the people in the kingdom of God? It is only in the kingdom of God that I see someone has become pastor for 20 years. He has never developed himself. People, you are called into the drama ministers. You have never developed yourself. There are a lot of ministries doing drama schools. You have never attended one. 
And yet, you say God has called you into drama school. No. If God has called you, you need to inspire. You need to also, whatever you despise, you don't become. So you have to develop yourself. Force yourself. Nobody will tell you. You have to. I attend training on drama every day. And I mean it. Every day. No matter how small the minute. Every day, I listen to messages I watch online and I attend programs that each time I attend it, I see myself on another level. You have to develop yourself. Go to school. Go to school. It is also a speed for us to go to school. Let us be educated so that we, we know what is going on. The difference between Apostle Paul and Peter. I mean, I don't want to go into the theological things, but you will see that education also will uplift and, and it will broaden and enlarge the calling of God in your life. So, continuous education. Develop yourself. Nobody will develop you. You need to develop yourself in Christ. Attend trainings. Listen to leaders. Call people. And it shall be well with you. Christian drama can be impactful in the way we act, the way we develop ourselves. People watch us more than the movie we act. So the life of the messengers must preach better than the message or must match the message. It should not be less than the message we preach. So people watch us, they see us and what makes the uh, message more impactful is our life. So uh, let us be what we preach, and uh, Holy Spirit will help us in Jesus' name. Now, uh, I want to recommend to everyone please subscribe to Flaming Sword Movie uh, channel and also to IGN TV channel as well. Uh, but the movie that is coming next month or very soon is um um leap of faith season two leap of faith we have released season one last year season two will be released uh december this year before end of the year please watch out for it it is a movie that you will always watch and be blessed it is a uh it is an educational movie just like season one that teaches people about the reality of life it is what we call science versus God. Science versus God with undertone. Uh, that is it. The, the next thing to expect is leap of faith. Leap of faith. And homecoming season two also is coming. Homecoming season two. Leap of faith season two. Please, especially leap of faith. Watch out for it. Uh, you will watch it and uh, you will have a lot of testimonies to the glory of God. Um, uh, Shosha Andu is, um, uh, Flemish, is Flemish Sword Movies. The, for Facebook, is Flemish Sword Ministries. For YouTube, is Flemish Sword Movies. For Instagram, is FSM underscore Ministries. Or you follow Wale Adeyi on Instagram. Wale Adeyi, you see most of the information you need to know about Flaming Sword. Um, we are also on TikTok. Uh, we are also on uh, Twitter. Um, I, I think it's Flaming Sword Ministry. Just search Flaming Sword Ministry. Then we have app, apps. We have two apps, one for the book, one for the movies. Um, FSM for the movies, FSB for the books. You can search on the Apple and uh, also uh, uh, the Google station. So, uh, and uh, on Android, I mean, Google, uh, Apple and Android. So we have two apps. And also, if you want to know anything or everything, just go on our website, Flemish Sword Ministries dot org ww dot flemingsword ministries dot org thank you my name is Wale Adam stay tuned to idea see me is
Ooh. 